Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you knew the series, if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is... I say if you knew the series, if you haven't seen the series before. If you're new to the channel, or if you have not seen the series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, I go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything. I do my wish list or everything, everything's a total washout. There's plenty to talk about, as always, but before we jump in, I was actually... So this is my bare face. I am filming this at night for the first time, and you know, surprisingly, can I show... There's still sunlight out. What? <laughs> Summer is coming. It is currently like 6.39 and there's still sunlight. And unfortunately, tomorrow is a day where I have to go into work early. I don't think I have to stay late, but I do have to go in early and normally I film these in the morning. Not gonna have time. So we're filming this on April 1st. I was gonna do like a mask and make this like a mask kind of thing, but I realized that the sheet mask I wanted to do, you wouldn't be able to hear me talk. <laughs> through it. Next time I'll plan ahead and do like a regular face mask before I do my full skincare routine because I'm already done with my skincare. Speaking of which, this is like my favorite face mask ever and I can only find them at TJ Maxx. I don't even know the name of the brand. This is called the Gold and Cherry Blossom Essence Mask. So this is what it looks like if you want to pick it up. They're seriously like the most moisturizing masks. They don't have too much product on them and they stay on your face but then when you take it off you just feel so moisturized ah i love it like i love that and you can get a whole pack of like 10 for like 4.99 ridiculous fun in today's video i was gonna be going through instagram and seeing like what's been april fools and what's like a real product because at this point i'm just doubting everything there are two very adorable um April Fool's jokes that I wanted to point out because I thought they were just so well done. The first one is from BYS Cosmetics. I've never heard of this brand before, but they came out with the <laughs> came out with the Pickle Alicious palette. And while I love the idea of all these greens, I hate pickles. Hate pickles, hate pickle scents. So even if this was a real item and not like a an April Fool's joke that's quite adorable, I wouldn't be able to use it. But adorable idea for April Fools. My other favorite April Fools post wasn't from Trend Mood or anything, it was actually posted by Sigma Brushes. So this video was posted to their Instagram page and it's for a new brush that is like the Rolly brush. <laughs> This is hilarious. This is adorable. This is what April Fools should be. I did, I did feel a little bit sad though because I did like scroll to the comments and see some people that actually kind of wanted it and didn't realize the day. Um, so whenever anyone said like, how do you see it in action? Where can I get it? Like, Sigma would just say like, oh, click the link in our description box. And then when you click the link in the description box to shop, it would actually give you a discount code for the website and let you know like, we got you. Like that's how this should be done. It's adorable, it's harmless, it's not too ridiculous like Tarte. Like, don't play yourself for April Fools, but have a fun time. So those are my two favorite April Fools posts. I thought they were just so cute. Am I the only one that, like, had, has no idea what Patrick Ta Cosmetics is and who that person is? I honestly have no idea. And most of this is just going right over my head. This is something from Milk Makeup that I kind of actually really want to try. This is the <laughs> Cannabis Mask, the Hydrating Face Masks. It's $24 and it's supposed to instantly moisturize, calm, and soothe for a revitalized complexion. Those are three things that I need. As you can see, I do have redness just on my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, a little on the chin. I have tiny little baby breakouts, but I haven't had a bad breakout like in a long time, so... <laughs> Knock on wood, let's not jinx that. I haven't tried any of the other milk makeup like masks or sticks. I tried the blur stick, I got a mini of it, and it did nothing. It did absolutely nothing. So I haven't tried anything since then, but I would really want to look into this one. I f okay, honestly, I feel like kind of bad because I feel like this palette came out like at a bad time. Uh, or maybe a good time, you never know. Maybe if you missed out on Blue Blood, you would want to grab this one. Uh, Menagerie Cosmetics is coming out with a new 
palette called Whale Song. And what I can see is that it is only available for pre-order, and the pre-order price is 25 and the regular price when it actually comes out is going to be a lot more than that. Just, I can tell you right off the bat, I can't get this because I just bought Blue Blood, and <laughs> there are so many similar shades, other than maybe like the couple of green shades, which, knowing me and my collection, I have those. But let me know what you think down below. Do you think this is good timing and they're kind of like jumping on to the Blue Blood craze? Or do you think it's bad timing and that everyone's going for Jeffree Star Cosmetics and not them? Interesting. Let me know down below. Oh, and a quick update. I was able to get my hands on Blue Blood. I am so excited. I haven't gotten the shipping confirmation yet. I'm sure the warehouse is swamped. They sold out, I think, in a couple of hours. Uh, but I'm actually really glad I got my hands on it. Uh, as soon as I get it, I'm going to try and do another like first impression video like I did with that ColourPop palette. And then do a full three looks, one palette review, everything. But I can't wait to get my hands on this. So apparently, Ulta Beauty, the in-house brand, is collabing with Marvel to come out with Avengers makeup. Unless this is a very well done April Fool's joke. Nope, there's prices and everything. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Not even the makeup bags look that nice. The eyeshadow palette looks meh. And the face palette, what is it? <laughs> ah, I saw this. I want this. This is the Physician's Formula Muru Muru Baby Butter Box. And it comes with the bronzer, the butter blush, the butter highlighter, a split pan eyeshadow, some lip balmy thingy, and the perfume. This retails for $14.99 at Walmart, and I think it's a Walmart exclusive. The $14.99 would be worth it just for the bronzer and the perfume. Because the bronzer almost retails for that on its own. I've panned a whole bronzer, and I actually really like it. And I just... Honest to God, I just want this to get the perfume. I've been dying to get my hands on that perfume, and I don't know why they don't sell it on its own. I want it. I want it. The Walmarts around me, unfortunately, suck, and they never stock anything new, so I'm hoping this can pop up on a website somewhere and I can order it. If not, I'll take a chance and check my local Walmart, but they're not gonna have it. I just want the perfume really want the perfume. Okay, so we're seeing what the Urban Decay and Game of Thrones collection looks like. I can't tell if I like this packaging or if I think it's just bulky and annoying. I actually think the shadows, while being mostly neutral, I think that they're actually arranged very pretty. The swatches look really pretty and I, I kind of like that. What really pulled me in was this face palette, the Mother of Dragons highlighter palette. Oh, I kind of really want it. That hot pink, that gold, that looks gorgeous. And I really want those brushes. Look at those eyeshadow brushes. They're swords. <sighs> Guys, I don't know. I don't know. I know the eternal question is, is this immediately going to go on sale because it's Urban Decay? Mm. I think I gotta hold out and wait. Because I would just kick myself if I bought this full price and then like a month from now the whole thing went on sale for half off. MAC is coming out with a new collection and while nothing looks interesting product wise, the packaging is to die for. That packaging is gorgeous. Jesus, just all oh, that pink marble. I can't. I can't. Looking at the eyeshadow palettes, they're neutral. You got a warm palette, a cool palette. I just really like how the brushes look and the packaging, but no, not gonna buy a product just because of the pretty packaging. I have plenty. I can make my own pretty packaging. I kind of actually really want to do that in a video, like make my own pretty stunning packaging for regular boring products. Let me know if you want to see an arts and crafts video. Because <laughs> I could do a fun trip to Michael's or the dollar store and just like bedazzle everything. Switching over to Indie Makeup Spotlight, this palette, I don't know what it is, but it, I just kind of got intrigued. It's different. This is the Citrus Garden palette from Sun Queen Cosmetics. I don't know, I think I like how grungy it looks. I like how it's mainly neutrals, but not your typical neutrals. I kind of, I'm, I feel inspired by this palette. I have to say this looks stunning. 
absolutely stunning. This is the Flower Garden Palette from M Cosmetics. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's going to be limited edition. All the shades will be available as singles, but I'm drawn to A, the shades looking gorgeous, and B, that packaging. That's the scream spring to me. This screams flowers. and <sighs> This is gorgeous. I don't know if it's available yet. The post set will be available in two weeks or less. I gotta go check out the actual Instagram. There were only 20 palettes available. Ugh, and it was $50. Okay, well, downside to an indie brand. Definitely not gonna get my hands on that, but it's gorgeous. Another brand coming out with more like food themed palettes. This is the Spicy Sriracha palette. And I gotta say, I like the idea. I like the colors. I like the packaging, but it looks like a lot of pressed glitters. And not shimmers, the actual pressed glitters from what I can see like as the texture. So no, I'm not a huge fan of pressed glitters just because they're pressed glitters. <laughs> Uh, I, I prefer my glitter in liquid form, just like the, the Stila glitter in Glows, but I love the idea of this palette. I just kind of wished it had been like a half matte and a half like shimmer palette. Alright guys, it is 7pm and you know what that means. It's almost my bedtime. <laughs> you guys think I'm joking, but uh, I'm an old lady <laughs> and I wake up for work around 4 o'clock, so uh, I will be passed out by 8.30. I'm gonna like put the footage onto my computer and um, I don't know if I'll start editing. I'm pretty tired. Oh, I get so scattered brained later on at night. Hmm. But I thought it'd be fun to shake it up and film at different times of the day. Just shake it up a little bit. As always, let me know what you guys thought down below of all these products and what was your favorite April Fool's product that came out. Like I said, I like the pickle palette. <laughs> and that rolly brush from Sigma Cosmetics. I thought those were just adorable. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!